During his eight years as commander in chief, President Obama occasionally would come to the Kansas City area. And people who interacted with him say he was warm, friendly, and genuine. In 2008, the then Senator Barack Obama sat inside a Brookside living room watching his wife speak at the Democratic National Convention in Denver. Hello, everybody. Hello from Kansas City. The next morning, the presumptive nominee spoke at KCI. A few months later, and before the election, he spoke to a crowd in Kansas City of about 75,000 people. In December of 2011, he went to Osawatomie. In July of 2013, President Obama talked about the Affordable Care Act at the University of Central Missouri. In September of that year, he stopped at the Ford plant in Claycomo. In July of 2014, a longer stop. He spoke at the Uptown Theater. We could do so much more if Congress would just come on and help out a little bit. He had ribs and a Bud Light at Arthur Bryant's, but no coleslaw because they ran out. Out the blue, the police and the Secret Service pull up and letting us know that the president's on his way. I deal with a lot of tough issues. I am not going to decide who makes the best barbecue in Kansas City. He also met with the Corcoran family, who lost family members during the shooting at the Jewish Community Center. They knew about the tragedy that brought us here. And on his way out of town, he stopped in Parkville. While some have met him on our home turf, some have gone to the White House to meet him. Let's give it up for the World Series champions, the Kansas City Royals. The most memorable trip involved the Royals, and it also helped to have KC native Josh Ernest as press secretary. This spring, the Royals broke ground on their Urban Youth Academy in Kansas City. I just want to recognize Royals ownership as well as players. Now, right now, on the Founded on Five page on KCTV5.com, we have a slideshow of President Obama's visits here to KC and when he invited local sports teams to the White House. 